sing, girl. Hands up, please. I know it's hard to hear, so I'm going to use the mic. Fifth grade, what a phenomenal set of role models. Literally, you all got super quiet. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, what Mrs. Broadwater was trying to say, make sure you've got your elbows out so that you're distanced. Remember, you've got your masks on and elbows out so that you're distanced from all of your friends. Do we have hands up when we've got all of our fourth grade? All of fifth grade. We've got all of our third grade. Awesome. Hands down, voices off. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Uh, now, come on. It is the most beautiful day of the fall. Good morning, boys and girls. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent job. Boys and girls, I'm actually a little excited that we were able to reschedule our Constitution Day because we really could not have asked for a more beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. So with that, we're going to we're celebrating here for Constitution Day. We've got some of our fifth graders here. I know Ms. Broadwater's been working very, very hard with our students on a really cool song. With that, we're going to start off with Mrs. Hall, and we're going to start with the pledge. All right, find a flag. We have lots to salute to. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So as I explained um, during our classes when we were learning our Constitution song, we're going to have several fifth graders read about the Constitution. So listen carefully as they are reading about the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States, the Supreme Law of the United States of America, was written in 1787. You can view the Constitution at the National Archives located in Washington, D.C. The authors of the Constitution, called the Framers, wrote it in secret in the Pennsylvania State House in Philadelphia, which is now called Independence Hall. The U.S. Constitution was prepared behind locked doors that were guarded by centuries. Established in November 26, 1789, the first National Thanksgiving Day was originally created by George Washington as a way of giving thanks for the Constitution. The Constitution is made up of a preamble and seven different articles. Together, these articles are the foundation for how the United States government is organized. The articles of the Constitution also explain how the federal government interacts with the civilized citizens, states, and people of the country. The United States Constitution divides the government into three branches, the executive branch, the president, the legislative branch, Congress, and the judicial branch, court. The Constitution is a living document. This means it can be changed. Changes to the Constitution are called amendments. Currently, there are 27 amendments. The first 10 amendments are known as the Bill of Rights. They describe individual rights that citizens have, such as the right to free speech and the right to assemble in groups. The U.S. Constitution is not the only Constitution. Other nations also have Constitutions. However, the U.S. Constitution is the oldest insert of any major government in the world. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. They did an awesome job. Let's give them a hand. Excellent, excellent work. So I would like to see all of you do your very, very best job in singing our Constitution song. We have talked about performance practices and all the things that we need to do when we are performing. So here we go. Okay.
both hands up. Thank you. Boys and girls, that was amazing. It was so nice to hear just the, the quiet voices as you were singing. You all were so focused. Let's give a huge round of applause first to our fifth graders who did an awesome job reading that. They are natural. You couldn't tell that they were nervous at all. They did phenomenal. And thank you, thank you to Mrs. Broadwater for leading this and leading the song. So it's a huge thank you, Pastor. All right, boys and girls, hopefully you learned some fun facts. I know your teachers have been doing a lot of um, cool activities in the classrooms with Constitution Day as well over the past week. Boys and girls, you were exemplar as far as the audience goes. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Great job, boys and girls. All right, good morning. My name is Michelle Carey. I'm principal here at Kennard Elementary School. Thank you for joining us. We had our sixth annual Constitution Day. We brought all of our third, fourth, and fifth graders out here um, around our flag, our fifth graders, selective fifth graders gave us some fun facts about the Constitution. Um, Mrs. Broadwater, our music teacher, led us in a beautiful Constitution Day song um, that our third, fourth, and fifth graders participated in. Um, it's an exciting event. Our, our staff actually do Constitution Day activities leading up to the event. So it was a wonderful, wonderful day, great weather, and glad that we got to, to have this fun opportunity for our students.